Hello, Jill with Om Shanti Healing. In this video, we're going to talk about the tension around the chest. This video is primarily for the, like, the ladies, but um, if there's men out there that have pectoral pain and tension um, around the rib cage and a kind of feeling of the pec being stuck to the ribs, then you certainly could utilize this video as well. So I've been seeing a lot with the stress going on, a lot of ladies especially kind of clenching and holding their breath. So when the clenching happens, you kind of engage those muscles, those little muscles in between your rib cage, and they tighten up and then it restricts your breathing over time. As well as the pec, I see a lot of kind of protracted shoulders with this kind of movement because we're protective of our bodies, of our hearts, of our internal organs. We're on the computer a lot. That also makes us do this kind of movement and slouch forward. So with that being said, over time, the pec muscle, which comes under the breast tissue, up along the sternum, along the clavicle, and attaches to the front of the shoulder, all of this area gets very, very tight. The pec muscle can actually get adhered to the breast tissue, and then that pec also, on the other side of it, the back side of it, can get stuck along the ribs where there's not a lot of movement in this kind of range of motion. And we get that shoulder pulling forward, we feel restricted when we try to stretch back. So, with the work that I've been doing lately on my clients and myself, because I'm very arms forward as well in my line of work, is I've been doing a pectoral release and also working with breast tissue to loosen up that breast away from the pec muscle and then the pec underneath away from the ribs. So I wanted to show this to you to share uh, so you can use it at home and get some relief. With this work, the breast will drop so there won't be some sensation of it being tight and lifted, the breast tissue actually relaxes off the pectoral muscle, your shoulders will drop, and your breathing will improve. So with holding breath with stress, with stress, it just kind of exacerbates everything. We want nice open breath, right? We want to feel free and open through the chest cavity here so we can take nice deep breaths to help stimulate calm, right? So let's begin. So ladies, you can certainly do this without a bra on. You could do it without anything on, just straight against skin. For the sake of the video, I'm dressed. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is first come along the edge of the sternum. Collarbone is right here, okay? So I want you to feel for the collarbone. Come down to the corner here where it meets the sternum. The sternum is the bone breastplate right here. And I want you to place your fingers right against that sternal part where you can feel the little indentation of your ribs. So I want you to get your fingers in between those ribs and just palpate, going down one rib at a time, just kind of getting in between each one. And you'll feel sensations of kind of burniness, like it'll feel like kind of fiery because that tendon or those tendons are so tight up against the sternal bone and you want to come down all the way come down along the inside groove of the breast tissue and just come down all the way till the bottom of the sternum you can feel it right here okay and you want to palpate and just this is like your moment to kind of feel and discover where are you feeling the tightest where is there restriction in movement? Does it feel a little bit burny down here at the bottom of the breast, right? We wear bras all day. We're restricted here anyways with having to wear a harness. So there, there's natural tension anyways. And then you add the additional stress of life and that just exacerbates it all, okay? So I want you to feel for those areas. So pick your spot. I got a sore one right here. So I can feel like a hard protrusion of tissue right here where it feels very knotty. So anywhere along this area and you give yourself time to kind of work through, I want you to press in between the rib there 
with your fingers, get your fingers lined up so they're stable, right? So they have the support of each other and you're not doing this kind of stuff, okay? So, fingers pressing together, get your middle finger in that first groove in between your ribs, okay? And then you're going to push, stick your elbow out a little bit and kind of push in towards that spot. Okay. So you can angle your finger any way you want to. You could be straight down in, you could be off to the side, however feels good for you. Okay. And then we're going to lift the arm up. So this is going to stretch through the chest area. You're going to bring the arm up, bend the elbow, and rotate back in. Okay. Rotate out, and a reach. Bend the elbow and back in. Okay. So we're going to do this movement for a lot of the pec stuff we're doing. Okay, and you can feel with repetition, it starts that burny sensation starts to go away, where you're not really feeling it as much anymore. It's starting to feel a little bit softer. Okay, and then you pick your next spot and you go all the way up, bottom to top, top to bottom, either way, on the one side, one breast at a time. Okay. So now we're going to go along the collarbone and you can feel as you palpate, come right into the corner here and I want you to push upward towards your collarbone all the way to the sternum. And you'll feel spots in there that are burny and feel really, really tight. Okay, So we're going to get into those spots next with the same movement. So typically right about here is pretty bound up on most of us right there so find your spot you can feel it might feel a little bubbly in there kind of bumpy in there because the tissue is so compressed and stuck again line up your fingers squeeze them together elbow out and press in okay and then we're going to do this rotate out and reach good and then back in and then out again and reach so we're getting this, we're hitting this muscle, we're contracting and we're stretching, okay? So turning the shoulder in is contracting and kind of moving cross fiber across that little area a little bit. And then we're gonna reach and stretch out. Come in and out, good. So work this whole area from this groove right in here all the way down to where it meets your sternum okay so the next thing we're going to get into the side of the pec area so right through here gets pretty tender and right along the side of the breast tissue and you can feel as you palpate kind of get the flat part of your hand here and just push real gentle like and feel where you feel that burniness you can feel how tight the tissue is up against your ribs and work around work under the breast and feel for any sort of tension there that might be burny feeling okay all right so we're going to be pressing with this hand so we can't really move the arm much with this one but i want you to get a nice fist we're going to work from this area of the hand and i want you to hook under this little tendon spot here get your knuckles in there and press so you're just going to press right into the ribs and push. Okay. And just hold it there for a moment. It feels nice. And then when you're ready to release, move down a little bit. I want you to feel the ribs as you're pressing and try to get your knuckles a little bit in between those ribs a bit. Let your knuckle kind of settle into the indentation between the rib. And then we push. Okay. So we're just stretching laterally to open up the intercostals, which are the little muscles between your ribs. Come down again and press. Good. Come down again and press. So right around where the breast curves, there's usually quite a bit of burning right through here um, because of the gravity of our breast being heavy and having to wear bras. We get a lot of lymph stuck around the breast tissue that can cause 
burning sensation and all those layers to get stuck and we can't really detox well because it's being squeezed all the time with bras and so forth. Okay, So when we get around the curve, I want you to bend your first finger, place your thumb right over the greater knuckle of your hand. Okay, So we're going to use this part of our thumb to dig in there and kind of pull the breast off the ribs a bit. Okay. So I want you to, again, stick your elbow out, get underneath the breast tissue, and press. And feel for your ribs, get in between the rib, push in and up. And it's going to feel a bit burny and like really stuck, like I said, because that's what happens right here. And then find your next spot, get in between the rib. Follow that groove of the rib, tuck it underneath the breast, and push up, and you'll feel a lot of sensation through here. Okay. And then again, next rib, follow that rib up, underneath the breast, and push up. Good. And keep it going. Go around, next part, and push up. So we're coming around the outer side and we're going to meet up where we did that sternal work right here. Okay, so we're getting all the way around the breast tissue, up, in, and up, push, good. So you can feel that once you're done, the release on this side. Okay, so now we're going to grab the bottom of the breast tissue and pull away from the ribs. Okay, so you're going to want to come underneath. Get your thumb along the side, grab your fingers around the bottom of the breast, and you'll feel that tissue stuck and burning. I want you to squeeze it, good, and then lift up, Re releasing it off the rib cage, and you can pull out. After you lift up, you'll feel it kind of let go, and then from there you're going to want to pull out, away from the ribs and just hold that squeeze for a little bit and take a couple deep breaths and then let it go okay and then we come up and underneath again grab the bottom of the breast tissue get your thumb in there squeeze grab squeeze lift the tissue up off of the ribs and hold Good. and then start to pull away from the ribs. Good. Let your shoulder drop. Kind of check in here. Keep that shoulder down. Good. You notice as you drop the shoulder, you release the lat through here, the whole breast relaxes and drops down. Good. So you want to hold it till that burny sensation goes away. And then the whole breast is going to feel nice and relaxed and it's going to be a little bit lower than the left side or the right side, whatever side you start on, it's going to be a little bit lower than the opposite side. Okay, So working all the way around to release that breast tissue and pull away from the ribs and you'll feel your lungs just open up. You'll be able to take some deep breaths and you'll feel so much better because the chest will be relaxed, the pec underneath the breast tissue will be released away from the rib cage. You will have lots of room in between the ribs for deep breathing. Do both sides. Send me some feedback. Thanks guys. You guys have a wonderful night. Take care. Bye-bye.